What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing chapter 24, problem 13 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Jura Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 24 is all about electric potential, and in problem 13, we are asked to find the charge and charge density of a conducting sphere. So to find the charge, we are going to use the equation V, or potential, is equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon sub zero r, where Q is our charge. So since we need to solve for Q, we need to multiply both sides by this denominator. So that means Q will equal potential times 4 pi times epsilon sub zero times r. And we have all of those values, so we can say Q equals 200 times 4 pi times epsilon sub zero times 0.15. And when you plug that into your calculator, you should get a charge of 3.3 .3 times 10 to the negative ninth coulombs, or 3.3 .3 nanocoulombs. Now for part B, to find the charge density, it is a little more involved. Um, first off, we need to find the electric flux. So flux is equal to the integral of E dot dA, E being the electric field and A the area in which the electric field passes through. And we also know that flux is equal to the charge enclosed over epsilon sub zero. So we can set those two equal to each other and we will get Q enclosed over epsilon sub zero is equal to the integral of E dot dA. And the integral of E dot dA with respect to A is just EA. So we can simplify this. And since we were talking about a sphere, we know that the area or the surface area is 4 pi r squared, so we can uh, sub that in. So Q enclosed over epsilon sub zero is equal to the E field times 4 pi r squared. And we need to solve for E, so we can divide both sides by 4 pi r squared, and we will get E equals Q over 4 pi epsilon sub zero r squared. And we also know that E, or the E field is equal to sigma over epsilon sub zero, where sigma is the charge density. So we can set these two equal to each other and say sigma over epsilon sub zero is equal to Q over four pi epsilon sub zero r squared. And as you can see, we have an epsilon sub zero in both denominators, so we can cross those out. And we are left with sigma is equal to Q over four pi r squared. And sigma, the charge density, is what we are solving for. So we have all these values, so we can plug them in. Sigma is equal to charge, which we solved up here. So 3.3 .3 times 10 to the negative ninth over 4 pi, and our radius is 0.15, so 0.15 squared. And when you plug that into your calculator, you should get 1.2 times 10 to the negative eighth coulombs per meter squared, or 12 nanocoulombs per meter squared. So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.